How are you doing today? My name is Carrington. If this is your first time here, hi, welcome. Not your first time here, but you haven't subscribed, I absolutely invite all of you to do so. I would love for you guys to join the channel. Then next of all, if you have been here before, hi, welcome back. I am so glad that you are back again. In today's video, we are going to be testing out some more new makeup that I got from the Sephora VIB sale. So in today's video, we're, we're gonna still be trying some additional products than the ones that I had gotten and used the other day. So we're gonna still use this Rich Bitch by Freck um, Protect and Prime Serum, no, Protect, yes, no, Protect and Prime Serum. I love this. We're gonna give this a shot as this being the lip color, I finally, I, I was trying to do that yesterday. I was like, yeah, I don't think the look that we have is gonna go with this. So we're gonna try that today. Okay, I hope we I hope we make it through. We're gonna try out this bronzer again by Pat McGrath, and then we have a few new products to try. So, um, also with the Pat McGrath bronze collection, she came out with like a little four pan quad, and we're gonna be using that today. We have the new Tower 28, it's called Tino. This is supposed to be more of like a soft contour. I did not really care for the other formula that they had. That was very shimmery. I'm not always really into super shimmery um, bronzers. I mean, sometimes it's like, I'm like, okay, that's fine. But it was just over too overly shimmery, if that makes sense. But it doesn't look like that this really has a whole lot of shimmer to it. And it's definitely a better color. So I'm really excited to try that. Then we have some more. These are these liquid blushes from um, Jaclyn Cosmetics. I kind of wanted to go since, you know, this is a little bit more on the, like a pinky orange side. I kind of wanted to go that route as well. Um, so we have this one. That one actually could go. This is called Plush Peach. But then I also pulled Plush Coral because they look so similar on the package. I didn't know which one to go with. So this one's a little bit more pink. I think this one's a little bit more orange, so I think we're gonna go with that. Um, then we have this from Blend Bunny. It's the face palette. Uh, it's really like a lot of blush products. I know in the more nude one, people were using, if you had lighter skin tone, some of them for like contour, but I think this is really pretty, and I thought maybe we could go in with this blush. Uh, maybe like mixing these two might be cute. And then last is this from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint. I love the Born This Way line. I have loved all of the things that they have done. So I am very, very excited to get to try this out. So if you guys, why does it feel like I have used this before? There's no way. This just came out. There's no way. I haven't purchased makeup. Okay. There's no way. Okay. Maybe I haven't. Maybe it's just like some, something else with a similar product. I don't know. If you guys are excited to see what look we come up with, what I think of these products, how I would rank them at the end, then definitely keep on watching. So I like to start with my eyes. So we are up as close as humanly and eggly possible. I the zoom button was a little was broken. I got it. I got it fixed. I got it fixed. I got it fixed. There we go. So this is the Pat McGrath. This is the bronzing quad. So I figured we could do a little bit of like a light look with this. I think, I think we'll do some, I think it just, oh, 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 wow, my words. I think it'll just be something like really nice and airy. So I just put some on a brush and I'm going to work on blending that up. But then after I feel like I've got my transition the way that I want it with this shade, I'm gonna go into it again with a different brush that's a little bit denser and just focus that in like my crease area slash a little bit above because I don't really have a crease um, to give a little bit more depth than what it would be able to give like obviously right now because you know, but I think this will be a very quick, easy, everyday type look. So I'm excited and I think this will go really well. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more pink in the pan, but I will say I feel like it's almost giving like a, a little bit of an orangish to it. I wonder if it kind of changes the hue based on like the undertones of like your clothing and skin. I'm telling you, in the pan, that looks really pink mauve -y. Not quite as orange. It's like an orangey pink. 
this is coming off as. So now that I've got my crease where I want that, for now you can always come back and add more if you would like. You just take another brush, like the other one, but it's a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to take that product and I'm just going to focus it right here. And I'm not really going to go any higher into like the transition. I'm going to go higher than my actual crease. I have to make sure you can see it when I actually open up my eyes. But that's what I'm going to do. And that's just going to create a little bit more depth than what we have. But still using the same color because there's only four colors and two are shimmers. And I like a lot of depth in an eye look. I don't know what's so special about a lot of depth in an eye look, but I love it so much. So from there, I'm then gonna take like a little bit more of like a flat type of brush. I'm gonna go into that darker matte shade. This is definitely like more of like a plum. That has a lot of kick up though. A lot of kick up, not really getting a lot of product on the brush, but maybe it just looked like I wasn't getting a lot of product on the brush because there's definitely a lot of product right here. I'm going to pack it on and then I'm just going to start kind of softening the edges on my eye, kind of smoking it outwards a little, buffing where I need to. And All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on that gold shimmer all over the lid. Cause the other one we're going to use as kind of like a little bit of an inner corner and a little bit of a swoop in the inner portion of the eye as well. But that this gold is very, very pretty, very metallic, very intense. It's very, it's very, very nice. This is a very nice formula. As you can tell, I mean, the metallicness is just like, bam. Let's go ahead. Let's start priming of the face. We're going to go back in with this Fract Rich Bitch Protect and Prime Serum. So what I love about this is, okay, let's look at my skin right now, okay? This is interesting. It says take one to two pumps. I take two pumps. I start to work it in between my hands, and it goes from very creamy to very oily, like oily feeling not that it's like oil or anything like that it's just oily feeling but like very also thick very hydrating i don't know i have not tried a lot from freck i tried that bronzer suit yesterday it wasn't like one of my top things but this now do you see that glow it's just different and it's so pretty and i noticed yesterday when i was wearing the foundation i noticed that it also lasted a really long time or like the glow underneath like you could see the glow I'm running out of my Tatcha liquid silk canvas it's kind of getting sad I have to like open it up to get some dang it I've had this for so long it's like oh, now it's coming to an end I'm like dang I have a lot of pore filling primers so I'm not gonna repurchase quite yet but when I get low on pore filling primers, I'm gonna go with this because I really like I really like the Tasha one. But I'm running out. But anyways, yeah. So I had the glow staying through my foundation. I mean, it's just so almost like glass like, and it doesn't feel greasy. It just feels like a thick moisturizer. So maybe if you have oily skin, this may not be for you. But I have dry skin, and I am obsessed with it. I love it seriously. Just so much now it's time to move on into the foundation this is the Too Faced born this way healthy glow spf moisturizing skin tint so i'm i really feel like i own this but i don't know why i, I feel like it, it was new but it's like a little applicator it's like a little one of these it comes out very fast it's very liquidy i'm gonna tap some from the sponge onto my face. I'm just gonna press that in. It's not providing a ton of coverage. I would say probably a medium. 
But it's really even out the skin tone. I will say I did get a, quite a bit of my redness covered. Some other blushes and imperfections. But let's see. Yeah, I think that looks nice. It's a, it kind of is heavy around my mouth area. I don't really find it to be super heavy anywhere else. Again, I do have a lot of texture on my skin. I don't use filters, so we're just going to see the real deal, and I'm okay with that, even if you aren't. I just feel like, you know, it's spit. I still have a little bit left on my hand. I feel like it spit a lot out, and I feel like I really didn't need that amount. I could have used a lot less. So I'm going to try that again on another day, just using less product to see if I like it more because I think that was way too much product uh, for my face, truthfully. So that was all, that was me. That was my bad, okay. So the next thing I wanna give a stab to is going to be this Glowish Concealer again. Um, it's very light coverage, but I really, really liked the finish that it gave. I thought that was super nice. Um, usually I don't apply this much concealer, but it's so sheer that I just feel like I can and it looks fine and does a lot better of covering than just doing like a little amount. I it's, I don't make the rules, okay? I'm just here for a good time. See, it just blends out so beautifully and it gives like this really pretty glow and luminosity but I don't feel like it settles into my fine lines I just think it looks so pretty like this is such a good concealer I really I really enjoy that I enjoy it so next up is going to be this from the Tower 28 this is the Sculpt Sculptino contouring type of bronzer I'm just gonna take a brush this is my elf brush my elf what is this called ultimate blending and I'm just gonna start stippling that in just ever so slowly all over okay so it's giving a really pretty like shine it's like it's almost like it's matte but like at the same time it's almost like it has like a little bit of like a sheen to it but it also could be that primer that's just like, I'm going to show through everything. Because like it is, like my skin is just so glowy, really healthy. If this was not going to be a long work day where I worked from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., I would probably just do an all cream look. But that's just not going to last me all day. I wish it did though. But this is applying really nicely. Uh, I like the color. Um, I, I think this, yeah, I like this a lot more than the their original one that they came out with. It's not as like glittery, shimmery. It's really pretty. It blends easily. This is just a really good like bronzer, but it's more like of a neutral bronzer. So if you are like, I don't know, really like cream bronzers because they're too like orange or too you know I don't, I don't really don't always like bronzers either just because you know my skin is very cool I think you'll like this because it's a little bit more on like the neutral t side than warm but not quite cool either I would definitely not say cool yeah that's really pretty so now we're gonna go on into this Jaclyn cream blush this one was in the shade plush peach and okay so this definitely is a lot more orange than even like it looks in like the tube I feel like I think this is gonna go great with like what I had in mind and with the um and with the lip oil this, these just have really good pigmentation to them. I would not directly go on the face with these, um, truthfully, because it does kind of come out, out in like a thick blob. Um, and that could be a little bit too much product on one side of the face. 
I really like to put it on the back of my hand and really just like take some of the product and like stipple it out and then go onto the, my face. Like that's what I like to do. It's gonna kind of bring that up a little. It's kind of orange, but okay. Like I think that looks. That looks cute. That looks nice. We're going to move on into the lower lash line. And we're just going to make this simple. Where I'm just going to take that first shade we went into. I'm just going to kind of smoke that everywhere. In my lower lash line. We'll take that deeper shade. Kind of on the outer third to half of the eyelid and darken it a little bit we will go into the inner corner with that the shade right here and pick some up on a brush okay this is picking up so it's a good start I'm gonna start it in the inner corner I'm gonna loop up to swoop up yeah, I'm going to work on that swoop a little bit more, slightly better. So then we're going to move on into that Pat McGrath bronzer. I used it yesterday. I really liked it. I want to see what it looks like on top of this product. The other one I felt was really warm. So I felt like the whole look was really warm. Okay. So in the pan, this doesn't look like this is going to be like a super warm like bronzer. It looks very kind of neutral, maybe leaning a little bit cool. But I do notice that every time I put it on my face, it definitely does bronze up. No matter what I had underneath, um, it definitely just adds a lot more like orange to it. So if you were like under the impression that some of these bronzers look a little bit more like neutral or cool, just be mindful that you may not like that it may be a little bit more orange than what you're thinking it's going to be i just wanted to make that statement so we are all well aware so now i'm excited to go on into this blend bunny i have not ever seen them make a cheek palette so i'm very excited i really do like blend bunny so i'm gonna go into the shade squeeze i'm gonna actually just start with that shade see what it kind of looks like with everything make sure it's not like too overly orange than what I wanted mm, maybe slightly so of course you know we can try to add a little bit of that pink to it so I think that's what I'm going to do next so I'll just layer the pink on top so we'll go into raw there's going to be a little bit more of that lighter cooler kind of pink which I think will be go well with this okay well, it's not quite turning the color i was hoping <laughs> i don't know but i do like this formula this is a very pigmented formula it's really really pretty um i'm not really having any issues with like any patchiness um inability to blend i feel like it's really settled on my skin really nicely like it's it's just sitting on there super nicely it's really nice and like pigmented i think this overall is a really good really good product so now i'm ready to go ahead and we're gonna apply this lip oil it's called a lip oil it just doesn't seem quite as lip oilish as i would really like it to be. i really like a nice thick lip oil but this almost in a way feels like a gloss and then i feel it kind of sets down a little bit so even then it's not quite as glossy like and then it leaves a stain so this is the completed and final look testing out some new makeup what do you guys think of the final look? These are some things that I got from the Sephora VIB, VIB sale. Let me know down below what you've picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. If you didn't, did you have a wish list? What was on your wish list? Were any of these products on your wish list after this review? Or are there some that you're going to take out of your wish list? Or are there things that aren't on your wish list that you're going to add? 
Let me know all that down below. So let's go ahead and let's get into the ranking portion of today's video. So in last place is going to be the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow. The things that I don't really like about this is the applicator or the pump or whatever you want to call this. It just comes out super fast. With this being more of a skin tint, it's not as like thick as like a foundation or something like that. So it's definitely a little bit more runny. So it just comes running out. And then I noticed that when putting this on, it just was really heavy in a couple of areas. And I feel like it was because it was too much product. Even though I had tapped out on the back of my hand, I still had a good amount of product left on the back of my hand. Um, it just seemed like maybe that was it was too much. So I want to try this product using less. But the fact is I'm going to have to like very lightly like try to tip the applicator because it just came running out all at once the minute I like squeezed it, the minute I tipped it. So I'm just going to have to play around with that, see if I can like that anymore. Next up is going to be this Glowish Concealer. I really like this concealer until I set it with powder. I don't know what it is with like setting it with powder, but it just starts to look a lot more cakey and a lot more heavy than I personally like. And I think this would be so pretty. You know what? Maybe I want to try it without setting it, see, see what happens then. But when I do set this, it just looks a little bit extra and like cakey and a little bit more heavy. And I just don't really like that. I have other concealers that doesn't do that. But also the other ones don't not settle into my fine lines and give quite the hydration that that does. So it's like a uh -uh situation. Um, next up is going to be this Pat McGrath bronzer. I really like this. The only reason it's ranked a little bit lower is as I keep using it, I notice that it's kind of becoming a little bit more, it's a little bit more warm. And at first I thought it was because of the things I was putting underneath. Like it was a little bit more bronzy. So I was like, well, maybe it's just going to be a little bit more bronzy, but this Sculptino is relatively like cooler than this is. And this looks like it's going to be very cool, very light. It's not, it's definitely a lot more like orange, a lot more bronze. Um, and so I just wanted something that was just a tad bit cooler tad bit maybe even more neutral um than than this just based on like the picture that it showed in the description because I did get something that was supposed to be meant for more of like maybe it was just fair I don't know but like as you can tell like that just looks like it's going to be really neutral but it's it's not it's it has like a little bit of like an orangish to it I don't know next up is going to be a slip oil it's a very interesting formula. It's not super thick like a normal lip oil that I normally use. I know that these do leave a stain because it left a stain on my lips yesterday. It's almost like a glossy feeling, but I do notice that like it just kind of slips and slides all over the place. I don't know. I would like it to stay a little bit more in place um, since it's not as thick of a lip oil. So it's not as hydrating as like uh, some of the lip oils, like the Lunar Beauty, the... Um, blend bunnies like things like that Jaclyn cosmetics it's just not as thick so I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't really slip and slide everywhere but it seems to be like slipping and sliding but like just not staying the best I don't know so up next is going to be this Tower 28 Sculptino. I like this so much more than I like the other ones. This is really, really nice. I really liked the color. I really liked the blendability. It was very nice. It was very easy to use. Um, I just, you know, took a brush and just like dabbed it on and just like worked it into the skin. Honestly, you could literally be doing dishes and just be sitting there blending and it would just blend out to perfection. Like it's just so effortless. I really, really enjoy that. Next up is going to be the Pat McGrath palette. This is really nice. It's super easy to use. You have two matte shades that you can do whatever you want with. You have two shimmer shades that you can use however you would like. I tried to use all of them so you guys could kind of get an idea of what they look like. I think this came out really pretty. You can use all of the colors. You can use one. You can use two. You can use none. I don't know why you would buy it and use none. You know what? We're not even going to go there because I do that. I buy stuff and then I use none of it, okay? All right, just go ahead, call me out. I don't care. Okay, just go ahead, call me out. Next up is going to be the Jaclyn Cosmetics Cream Blushes. These are very, very good. I would still 100% recommend putting it on the back of your hand and making sure that you are like kind of tapping it out. I would not go directly onto the cheek just because these pick up a lot of product, right? And this is one dot of product. And just that one dot, honestly, is enough to cover both cheeks. Like, it's enough to cover both cheeks. See, as it just starts to, like, blend out, it just still has, like, a lot of pigment 
on it and you would be able to easily go in with your cheeks onto your cheeks with this so these are very very good they're very very creamy they really sink into the skin they're very very beautiful on the skin i would totally recommend those next up is going to be this from blend bunny it's the juicy cheeks face palette um these are very very pigmented they are very easy to use the colors are very pretty they're definitely something that would be out of a lot of people's comfort zone in terms of blushes i know a lot of people like just like some neutral everyday type of blushes they're not huge on like all these like really beautiful like colors if you are though they do have a nude one they have a, a nude palette so don't worry they have one of those but if you also like color this is really good as well i love the different colors that you get they're just like a ton of different fun ones um and i'm really appreciative of that and again i really 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 like the pigmentation i love how it just how it sank into the skin um i there's not a, enough good things to say about it it's a really good product but still at number one is going to be this Freck Rich Bitch Face Priming. I don't know what it is, but it literally just keeps that glow no matter what you put on it. Powders, whatever the case may be. Like your skin is just looking so glowy. Um, I do a lot of like in the mornings, a lot of like really glowy, hydrating like skincare products. At night is more and I do more of like my deep exfoliation, things like that to get the makeup off and really exfoliate my skin overnight, things like that. And that just adds a glow and some hydration, like nothing, like nothing. Like, honestly, this is so good. It goes from like this cream to like this oil, but it's not so oily like the Ritual to Feel that like if you use it with like the wrong foundation, it could look kind of weird and separate-y. It's a very good formula. It's very, very interesting. It, like how, how this product goes from like that cream to like that oil, but it's like so hydrating, it feels, almost like a thick lotion but it's an oil and it gives you that glow like an oil it's very very interesting i keep using this i really honestly i enjoy that i think that's one of the best products i've ever tried that is it for today's video me just like testing out trying out all of these new products let me know what you guys think down below are you going to check any of these out if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give this a thumbs up i do tons of videos like these so make sure that you guys have subscribed click the little bell and i will see you all in my next one bye